Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Happy Friday, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had a great week. We have a few really good videos to go over today. But first, let me remind you that this afternoon at 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, we will have our live stream that we have every Friday afternoon. In addition to that, I want to say thank you very much to Jace Medical for sponsoring this video. And we will talk about them later on because they have a really great sale going on this month. If any of you are having troubles paying your electric bill, you have to listen to this. My lawyer said if you call the utility company and tell them you're sending a check, they legally cannot shut off your power. So I thought, okay, for 10 years at 8.01 in the morning on the date of disconnection, I will call the public utility district to say I'm sending in a check. Oh boy. And after a while, I heard this noise. And then many years later, I met some of the people who goes, you know, you're a legend. I go, what do you mean? He says, we all gathered around the phone at 8.01 <laughs> on disconnection day, <laughs> betting that Stamets would or not would not call and everybody who bet that i would not call lost their bets and at the end everyone would just cheer it's paul and here's i think they're having a party in the background no it's paul calling at 801 that's so, hilarious my lawyers now ladies and gentlemen i'm not recommending that you do this but a thought went through my mind after i listened to this what if everyone did that i'm sure that they would change those policies in a quick hurry <laughs> Every once in a while, it's nice to see a video, be it a short or a long form video, where the younger generation are actually proud to be American. Now listen to this. Are you proud to be an American? Yes. We accept everyone into our country. Yeah. What's the alternative? It's my greatest country on earth. Yeah. I'm proud. I th I'm very fortunate. I think there's worse places I could be right now, especially as a woman. Although it is really expensive to be here, I think that we have a lot more opportunities and a lot more safety than other countries. Not always. I'd say in general, though, yes. Like, in general, I love that we're able to, like, you know, prosper and do what we want to do here. Oh my goodness, 100%. I just love everything about it, honestly. I'm proud to be an American. I love America. Of course. You know? Yes, yes. I'm just proud to, you know, be able to build myself up. Uh, I still have faith in this country and that's something I'm really proud of. Oh, 100%, yeah. America is just a, such a great country where everybody can succeed. Yeah. And so it just really makes me happy to live here and know that like being a woman here and like I can succeed here where other places I wouldn't be able to. Now, if we have any plumbers out there, let me know how much you would charge for this job. Why would anyone ever do that? If that was my house, I'd sue. There's another $100 on the water bill. Those are the comments I got on this video. So I want to take a second and just sort of clear the air, give a little bit more of a background of why I had to do this. I could not find the water meter anywhere, and there was no shut off in the house anywhere either or in the crawl space. Yes, I could have used a metal detector and potentially found the meter or waited, called the city and have them come locate the meter and then turn it off that way. But this couldn't wait. This customer needed service this day. So this is just what I had to do. And I didn't just cut into this without a plan. I thought it through, prepared myself to minimize any water getting anywhere and doing it as fast as possible while staying composed. There's a lot of funny comments about me being slow. And yes, it looks extremely slow and I was being slow, but I was trying to keep my composure and not mess up because it's let's say bad. I dropped the ball valve or dropped my crimpers or something that just extends the time that the water was flowing like that. And I was heavily paying attention to where the water was being directed so I could keep it on the plastic and not hit any insulation or framing, which I was successful in. Why would anyone ever do that? Now, any plumbers out there, let us know how much you would charge to do that job. It looks like maybe if he's got all of his tools together and he knows exactly where to go and what to do, to me, that would look like maybe a 10 or 15 minute job at the most, right? If that's all that he was doing. So how much would you charge as a plumber to actually go out there to bid the job and actually do the job and walk away, right? Out the door pricing. So let me know what you think. Is this going to be the job of the future? Not just plumbing, but electricians, uh, mechanics. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, carpenters, handymen, stuff like that. Ladies and gentlemen, the sponsor of today's video is Jace Medical. Some of you may ask, but AP, don't you already work with a company that provides antibiotics? Yes, I do. And I've often said that competition is the best thing for the consumer, guaranteeing that you get the best product at the best price. And that's why I've decided to partner with Jace Medical because they offer different things at different prices. And you can see for yourself, for example, this month, they have the Jace Go Bag, which is a brand new travel size kit that you can take with you pretty much anywhere you go. And it has you covered for over 30 different illnesses. For example, motion sickness, diarrhea. I know it sounds nasty, but these things do 
happens. STIs, UTIs, ear infections, pneumonia, strep throat, pretty much illnesses that can ruin your fun during a vacation or getaway, but can also be used to prevent illnesses from getting out of control and being life-threatening. And for the month of May, it is on sale for $129.95. In addition to that, I do have a code that would save you an additional $10 off the price at checkout. And guess what? Jace Medical is also available in Canada. And if you're looking for something more robust, the Jace case is their most popular item, which brings your standard antibiotics amongst other medications that you may need in the case that you couldn't make it to a health professional for whatever reason. Jace Medical has pretty much something for everyone, all the way from the base, from the Jace Go to the Max and Kid case. And here you can see that you have the availability to add on additional medications to your purchase that you may want to stock up on. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to take advantage of their Jace Gold Case, it is on sale for the month of May for $129.95 minus $10 if you use the coupon provided in the description. And I will also leave it on a pinned comment. Now let's get back to the video. I had to let this play through at least four or five times because every time I let it play through, it got funnier and funnier. So listen to this. And I'm not making fun of you vegans out there, okay? Live and let live. This is just funny. I'm gonna do that from now on. Every time I order a cheeseburger, I make it a double so that a vegan out there in the world isn't actually making a difference. <laughs> Great plan. I'm going to do that. Oh, Every my time goodness. I order a cheeseburger, uh, I'm now, I really like Mr. Kirk here. He is a self-taught person that, to me, makes a lot of common sense. But one of the things that he always says is what I agree the most. And it's that when we stop talking with one another, no matter what our differences are, that is when we fight. That is when we start looking at each other as subhuman beings. And I just thought that this conversation that he is having with this other gentleman here is so wholesome. It has nothing to do with politics, nothing to do with gender, or none of that kind of stuff. It's just a wholesome conversation that tells us that we are a lot closer together than they want us to think. Who's they? You can answer that. Uh, LeBron or Jordan, greatest of all time? Yeah, Jordan, not even close. For real? 100%. I could prove right, it. Break it down. Break it How down. How many finals has LeBron lost? Five. How five. many finals did MJ lose? Zero. LeBron's but, a better but, shooter, but here's better the, passer, better t uh, so, teammate, better uh, uh, scorer. Better not, teammate? Not scorer, not no, scorer. he's not a better he's teammate. A, he's a better team. He makes bums play good, bro. Michael Jordan made everybody around him better. When it's all said and done, why did LeBron want to wear MJ's number so bad if he was truly the GOAT? Because he was the GOAT before him. Oh, okay. Before him. I believe the greatest is the one who's never lost a final, the one who redefined the sport. Redefined the, one the sport? He redefined the sport. He brought the National Basketball Association that was, that doubled was, and that tripled was, in popularity. That was Larry Bird and, and, and no, Magic no, no, Johnson. No, no, no. But let me ask you, how do you define greatness? Greatness is uh, impact, is influence. You think LeBron that LeBron has, has, has had more influence than Michael Jordan? Yes. I, I yes. couldn't disagree more. It just must be a generational yes. thing. Uh, LeBron or Jordan? Now, ladies and gentlemen, in all honesty, wouldn't it be a wonderful world if this is what we had to argue about? That pounding you hear is the sound of one more pothole in Compton being filled. Alex and Daisy Delarosa live and work in the city. They drive as couriers around Compton. Daisy drives and Alex gets in and out of the car to deliver. Daisy says after several flat tires, a blown suspension and a few arguments, the couple decided to do something about all the potholes in their city. I'm like, but we don't have that much money. It's like, it doesn't matter. One pothole at a time. This is video of the first pothole they filled a few days ago. Since then, they've filled almost a dozen and it's gained a lot of traction on social media. Daisy says people have been making requests for them to come to their streets and have even donated about $200 so far. Gabriel Magallanes says he heard about what Alex and Daisy were doing and where they would be next from Facebook and decided to come help. ABC7 reached out to the city of Compton but hasn't heard back yet. But neighbors watched and applauded as the potholes in front of their home got filled. Each of these black top repair bags cost about $17. They say as long as they keep receiving donations, they'll be out here filling potholes in Compton. That pounding you hear? 
Now, ladies and gentlemen, I included this clip because it shows us that we don't have to look to government for everything. Actually, we shouldn't look to government for anything, but this proves that we can take care of things ourselves in the private sector without having to look to government. Look at how this road is being fixed one pothole at a time by a couple that had had enough because too many flat tires from hitting those potholes. And then when people heard about it, guess what they did? The people that wanted to chipped in and they're being able to continue to fill in potholes. Do you really think that we need to be giving the government as big of a chunk of our dollars that we earned so that they can fill one or two potholes or maybe none at all? Maybe we ought to look into ourselves and saying, hey, we can get together and do this ourselves. Now, for those of you that haven't seen my reaction video before, the very last one, we go down one without me even knowing what it is. And then I react to that and show you what it is, only if it's family family friendly so we'll see what it is I'm just gonna go down one and see what happens 2001 this all would cost in Southern California good one one dollars let's go see how much it cost right now today in 2023 Shit, Oreos, bread. Oh, excuse me so I got three bags of Lay's three gallons of Horizon whole milk two 12 packs of soda two packs of Oreos cocoa pebbles three pints of orange juice Tropicana three packs of bacon Wonder Bread three of these four cartons of eggs and two DiGiorno's here's the other thing to keep in mind there's also shrinkflation so you're also getting less Oreos less potato chips everything smaller is let's go see how much it costs right now today in 2023 here we go Here's the final finale. How much do you think it is, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> $95, so it's two and a half times more. They printed $10 trillion. What do you think that's going to do to the prices of every fixed commodity? I didn't even know this was a Benny uh, clip, but Benny's all over the place. And inflation isn't even over, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. So let me go ahead and say thank you to all of you that are still here at this part of the video. Again, we'll see you this afternoon during our live stream. Thank you very much to Jace Medical for sponsoring this video. And ladies and gentlemen, take a look at the link and the code that are going to be on the description of this video permanently and also on a pinned comment today and take advantage of their sale that they've got going on through the month of May for their new Jace Go Bag. Again, thank you very much for joining in. God bless every one of you. God bless America. I'm going to ask Prepper, I'm out.